Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with a haul that I'm so, so, so excited to do. This is from the Glitterati Candle Company and this is my mystery box for 2016. Now, Glitterati is one of the hardest vendors to get wax from. She is the one that I constantly refer to on Instagram as the unicorn of wax. The reason being, she only operates out of Facebook. She doesn't have a website. She doesn't do restocks at all. She does three things. She does one custom list per year where she takes the first 100 to 200 orders depending on the year, and I'm not even kidding you, those 200 names are gonna be on that list within about two seconds of her posting. And so that's one way to get it. The other way to get Glitterati is the mystery box list where she will open, um, open up the thread on her Facebook for an hour, I, I don't even know, I think maybe an hour, and however many names land on that, she will make a mystery box list for, or a mystery box for, however many people are on that list. The other thing is she does do flash sales every weekend. She is right now alternating between first 10 people to say me when she posts it, one week and then the next week she does it lottery style where she'll open the thread for half an hour, close it out, and then do random.org drawings for 10 people. So those are the ways to get your hands on Glitterati. The lists, like the mystery box list and the customs list, those are closed through 2017. I actually got on this list sometime in January and I just got my mystery box today. So not the easiest wax in the world to get a hold of. Now, that being said, I do have a, quite a decent amount of glitterati, glitterati in my collection, and it's mostly because I have friends that have been very, very, very generous. I landed one D-stash on the Glitterati D-stash page where it was like a first me type thing, and I still don't know how I got that lucky, but everything else has been from people who have either um, just offered me some because they didn't like the scents or pulled some aside and saved it for me because the scents were right up my alley and they were just very, very sweet people. I have actually never gotten Glitterati directly from Janine, the vendor, before today. So I'm super, super, super excited about this. It does consist of 12 chunks and two samples. So I'm just gonna go over those with you. I don't have scent notes for anything. If I were to have really gone back and done the research and pulled I could have probably pulled scent notes for almost everything, but a lot of this is going to be self-explanatory just by the titles of them. So I didn't worry about it too much. So first off, she sends samples, and the, the chunks, which you'll see them in just a moment, they are absolutely huge, and you don't melt the whole chunk, not by any means. I actually cut them in fourths, I've seen people cut them in thirds, I've seen people cut them in eighths. It just depends on how stingy you are with your wax and how far you want it to go. I've kind of experimented here and there with the chunks that I've had in the past and have found that scent shots are really good cut in thirds and these chunks work really well cut in fourths. If I really wanted to go crazy, I could probably get fifths or sixths out of them. It really just takes a little sliver of glitterati and you get an awesome throw. So that that was leading to me saying, I don't know if people actually divide the samples, but the, I did get two samples and I haven't had sample size wax from her before, so I don't really know if people try to cut into these or not. But this sample is pink sugar cotton candy frosting. So this should be self-explanatory as far as what it smells like. It's gonna be a blend of that pink sugar, um, the cologne, the perfume dupe, and cotton candy frosting, and that's exactly what it is. It smells awesome. But, I mean, it's a it's a small chunk, but with Glitterati, I don't, I don't know if I could get away with half of this. I may try cutting half of it, see if it works, and if it doesn't, throw the rest of it in. Not, not real sure, but smells awesome pink sugar cotton candy frosting my older daughter will be very happy with that because she loves some pink sugar the other sample is 
bam, pumpkin souffle. I was really excited to get a fall scent. Starting to go a little, starting to go a little crazy getting ready for the fall. So loving the fall scents already, even though it's the middle of July. This smells awesome. It's pumpkin-y, it's spicy, it's a little bit of bakery. It's like cinnamon pumpkin bakery amazingness. So good. And also, if you're not the type of person that likes mystery boxes, these chunks, people trade them all the time. If you get something in your mystery box that you don't like, someone will trade you. Okay, so those are my two samples. I'm going to get into the actual chunks. So this first one right here is fresh vanilla pear. And I'm going to assume this is a vanilla and pear blend of some sort, probably blended with some other stuff. But see, this is the chunk. So these chunks are ginormous. And I usually just cut them in fourths and melt them that way. But these are ginormous. So if you have glitterati chunks, don't throw the whole thing in your warmer. Don't make the same mistake I made when I had my first glitterati chunk. Throw this whole thing in a warmer. It was absolutely silly of me. So this one is fresh vanilla pear. I am not the world's biggest pear scent lover. But this is more vanilla. It, this is really good. And honestly, I've never been disappointed with anything that I've tried from Glitterati, even if it's something that I don't like. I have a gingerbread scent from Glitterati. And gingerbread is one of my scents that I can't do. And I don't mind it at all. She's Her stuff is pretty magical. Some of her blends, like stuff I never thought that I would like, I really am, I really enjoy. All right, this next one right here is Blue Hawaiian, and anybody that knows me or has followed me for any length of time knows exactly how excited I was to get this in my box. Blue Hawaiian is generally maraschino, cherry, orange, coconut, and a couple of other scents. It's a fruity, tropical drink blend. It is so good. This Blue Hawaiian is absolutely superb. This reminds me so much of the drink and I'm so excited to have this one. This next one right here is Blonde Moment Pink Chiffon. This is another one that I almost feel like was tailor-made just for me. Blonde Moment is a champagne, uh, a cranberry raspberry champagne scent, and Pink Chiffon is the Bath & Body Works dupe, I believe. Very, very girly, a little bit perfumey and blended together, they're awesome. Not to mention, I am loving these dual pink tones on this chunk. This smells amazing. This is going to be an awesome bedroom melt. So, so, so good. Probably going to say that about all of these. I'm, I'm not disappointed in a single one of these. Not a single one. Even the ones when I pulled them out of the box and I was like, I don't, what? Because some of her blends are, I mean, they're, they're custom blends that other people make with notes that they find that they think would smell good together. And some of them are a little out there. Like, I'm not going to lie. Some of them are a little out there. But I'm not disappointed with anything. Not a thing. Now, this one is pretty legendary. This is Love Spells and Lemon Drops. I do think this is a Victoria's Secret dupe for the Love Spell, um, the Love Spell scent, and then the Lemon Drops is is like Lemon Drop candy. I would think this one is a scent that is very very hyped up in the world of Glitterati, and it is so worth the hype. This is probably my favorite thing out of the box, or my favorite one of two things out of the box. This was one of the scents that was like one of my glitterati holy grails. Like I really wanted to try Love Spells and Lemon Drops. So Janine, even though the mystery boxes are random, thank you very, very much for randomly putting this one in my box because it's awesome. This next one right here is one that's been getting a lot of attention today. 
Uh, this is sugar milk cornbread. I've had a lot of people ask me what I think about this one. Sugar milk, as I've talked about in a couple other of my videos, sugar milk's kind of a um, like all the rage scent right now that a lot of people are really liking and a lot of vendors are starting to pour. And blended with cornbread, people are wanting to know, you know, what this smells like together. So this is really different than anything I've ever smelled before. I've actually never smelled a cornbread scent. This is very authentic to the, um, I mean, it smells like cornbread. And then blended with the sugar milk, it's a really, really nice, really, really nice bakery scent. Um, I can smell the like savory in it too, which is really kind of neat. Like cornbread has a little bit of like a savory um, element to it. And this is, um, I can smell that in here and it's awesome. I do apologize for the background noise. My mom is over here and little Jay is like eating dinner and running around and has pretty much gone wild. So it's probably not the most opportune time for me to be filming this video but I wanted to get it up and get it out of the way. So that, that's what's going on with all the background noise. So I apologize. This next one right here is Volcano Fruit Salad. So Volcano, I've talked about before, is the dupe for the candle that they have it. Um, dang it. Maite even told me where they have it, and I still can't remember where they have it but it's it's some retail store where they have um, this candle that's called volcano that's a fruit blend and I don't really know what the fruit salad is adding to it I mean I guess it's just more fruit but it does smell really, really, really good. It, this is extremely fruity. This is just fruit. This is this is all the fruit right here, and it smells amazing. Okay, next one, Rainbow Sorbet. This one probably doesn't take a whole lot of imagination. This is gonna be like lime, orange, um, just different flavors of sorbet. So again, a really, really super fruity summery scent. Oh my gosh, this one's so good too. These are all just awesome, 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 awesome. And this one does have a little bit of creaminess in it from the sorbet as well. So it's not, it's not like volcano fruit salad that's like just fruit. This one's a little bit more creamy. Pink sugar salty sea air toasted marshmallow. I have heard about this one. I think a lot of people ask for this because I see it a lot when people haul their mystery boxes. So this one is a fresh scent, which is right up my alley. Definitely smell the pink sugar. I do get the marshmallow a little bit, but I'm mostly getting the pink sugar and the salty sea air. This is um, definitely like a fresh, slightly perfumey scent. I really, really like this one also. So I understand why I'm seeing it a lot in the group because I think it's probably poured a lot, which means it's probably requested a lot. So this one right here, this is mistletoe. I love this. This is my Christmas in July scent that I was super excited to get. And this one is going to be like Christmas tree 
I don't know if this is a dupe for like Bath and Body Works mistletoe or a Yankee Candle mistletoe. I do smell a lot of Christmas greenery. I don't know that I'm smelling, I don't smell, I don't think I smell any cinnamon, but I don't know if I'm smelling berries. It's definitely very, very green. It's a Christmas greenery, Christmas tree type scent. So I'm glad to have that because I always love these at Christmas time. I was really happy to get a Christmas scent. All right, this next one right here is Pink Sugar Cotton Candy Frosting. So I have um, the sample of it and then I got a chunk of it, which is cool. It's one that I, is gonna be an awesome for melting year round in especially in the bedroom so I'm glad to have more of it because I think I'm gonna be able to get five or six melts all together between this and the sample but this one I already talked about in the sample you get the pink sugar and the cotton candy frosting in pretty even amounts and this is the one that I know Serena is gonna go crazy for because this is her scent family right here this is the one that she's gonna She's probably going to try to steal it, to be honest. This next one right here is Mai Tai. This is actually a newer one for this year. I remember Janine in January posting the scent notes for this, and I don't remember what they are, but I do know that this is a new one with some new oils that she had gotten in. So, um... I freaking love the colors on this one. I love the like raspberry pink and the bright yellow. Those are my two favorite colors. Now, if you'll notice, if you've never had Glitterati before, if you'll notice, I've literally had this today. My bags are smudged and like it doesn't aesthetically, unfortunately, Glitterati does not hold up very well. That, my friends, is why I wanted to get this video up today. Because the more you handle these and the more you mess with them, the more, like, smushed they start looking and the less pretty they are to photograph. It does not matter to me because I have Glitterati that's two years old that throws really, really well. So as far as, like, melting, not a big deal. But if you're trying to photograph them or take a video of them, you're going to want to do them as fresh as possible. But this is definitely a softer wax. When you slice into these, they slice like butter. But anyway, I guess I could review this one for you guys. Um, definitely a tropical drink. So I don't know what the fruits are in this. I am smelling pineapple for sure. And that's the only thing that really stands out that I can definitely, definitely smell. but it smells amazing. And if I ever do get on the custom list, I am having a boatload of this made because it's so good. So that's an awesome new fragrance for this year. If you happen to watch my videos and you're on the custom list for 2016, she just called up like the first group last week. So we're mid July and she just called up the first group for customs. So if you need ideas, and it's something like that either this is your first time on customs or you have made custom, like even if you've made customs before, since this is a new fragrance, if you like tropical drink fragrances or fruity drink fragrances, get this one. Get at least one chunk in this. You won't regret it. It's awesome. And then this one is one that, another one that's kind of legendary in the like glitterati world. And I've always wanted to try it, but I was kind of scared of it. This is actually my favorite thing in the box. This is tart fruit and white tea. She makes a tart fruit and white tea and a tart berries and white tea. And I don't really know what the difference is. But I do remember seeing Janine at one point in time. Somebody had asked her what are her, her personal five favorite fragrances. And this was one of them. White tea, I wasn't sure what to expect. I have heard people say white tea is a bit floral, and it is. Now that I'm smelling it in person, it is a little bit floral. 
And so what I'm getting out of this is one of those fruity, floral, fresh fragrances. So this is like a citrus tea with a little bit of floral. It's really, really complex. It's hard for me to even describe what it is other than to tell you that, you know, again, if I ever make that dang customs list, I'm going to have a boatload of this made because this is exactly the type of scent family that I like. That unique, fruity, fresh, tart, I can melt this type of stuff year round. This is so freaking delicious. And then finally, when you get a mystery box, you do have the option to get, um, Janine has a friend that makes in bulk for her these tumblers that have like the Glitterati logo on them. And so you have an option to add $10 to your order and get a Glitterati tumbler. Well, since this was my first time ever getting Glitterati directly from Janine, I had to get the Glitterati tumbler. So this is it. Let me pan the camera up a little bit. So it's one of those like travel tumblers that has the straw in it. And this is, um, ah, this is hard to do one-handed folks. This is textured, so this this is like, I don't know if it's a sticker. I probably won't use this a whole lot, but I really like it. I was really happy to have this. I have this and I have a Glitterati pen that I got um, earlier this year in like a giveaway that was on one of the Facebook groups and I cherish my Glitterati pen too. So I like my Glitterati swag. So that is the Glitterati tumbler that she talks about. So if anybody, when you're on the mystery box list and you get called up, she says, Glitterati tumblers are able to be added for an extra $10. That's what she's talking about. So that is it. That is going to be my Glitterati mystery box haul for 2016 and Unless I hit some kind of a windfall and get one of those flash sales, this is the last Glitterati haul that you'll see from me this year because that's just the way things go. But her wax, you know, a little of it goes a long way. So, I mean, out of these 12 melts, you know, out of these 12 um, chunks plus the two samples, I have somewhere around 50 melts which, I mean, that's a lot if you think about it. That's a lot of melts, because most wax, you know, you get you get a bag of wax and it has like eight ounces or something in it and you basically get eight melts out of it and, you know, then you're, you're done and you're good to go. And if, even if you get like five or six bags from a, from a restock, you know, you're, you're getting, my point is you're getting a lot for your money because it takes so little Glitterati to get good performance, so little Glitterati to get a good throw. So even though it's like 12 chunks and you're getting 12 chunks a year, if you're only on the mystery box list and you never get anything else, I still think it's a really good value and you're still gonna get a good amount of melts. So I will always, always, always get on the mystery box list. Like it's, I'm gonna do it every year. As long as you are near an internet device on that day, you're going to get on it. She's the only vendor that ever opens herself up to potentially pouring wax for every single customer. You just, you just have to be good enough to get, you have to be fast enough to get on that list. And especially the mystery box list where you have like half an hour to an hour to post it really shouldn't be a problem unless you're somewhere where you don't have internet. So I'll always get on the mystery box list. Even if I never get on that dang customs list, I'll always do this because I, I love it. And Glitterati is one of my top vendors. Every single time I melt something from her, it gets a little bit higher on my list of vendors. A little bit higher up, a little bit higher up every single time because her stuff is darn near flawless. So that is it. I'm off my soapbox for Glitterati. 
And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if you made the customs list. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will put the link for the Glitterati group in the description box where I usually put the website since she doesn't have a website. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have an excellent rest of your evening and an excellent day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.